Surakarta, known as Solo, a historic city in central Java, founded in the late 17th century as a royal capital and in the 18th century became a major center of Javanese culture playing a significant role in Indonesia's struggle for independence from Dutch colonial rule. Today, Surakarta is known for its rich cultural heritage, including batik art, traditional puppetry, and historic palaces. The Dana Hadi Batik Museum is a cultural institution in Surakarta. The museum showcases an extensive collection of batik textiles, both of traditional and contemporary. Welcome to Surakarta, where the art of batik making is a time-honored tradition that weaves together culture, creativity, and craftsmanship. In this enchanting city, skilled artisans known as Lamen bring this intricate textile to life. She is making this design, this pattern, this result, uh, this, this details. It's already two weeks. Yeah. And each day she takes on eight hours to make the And it's only the first step, and the second step, and the coloring until the final results is done in our factory. So she put her name on it, Marmi. Her name is Marmi. So she said that uh, I started working here since I was 12 after finishing my uh, elementary school. Uh, I was born in 1962, so she's 61 years old. <laughs> How many children are Brava Anna? Two. 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 I'm happy. Senang means happy. I'm happy making batik. And it should be conserved. Don't Apa sih? Jangan sampai mudah. Um, don't let it go away by the time. So yeah. Oh yeah. Oh okay. Uh, by making batik, I went abroad. I went to Singapore, and my batik were. Uh, uh, ex in the ex exhibition on the like summits in Bali and and uh, in Bogor. Oh, our president. The, our president wear his uh, hand batik. Last June, Marmi uh, accompanied the Japan emperor to make batik. <laughs> Now it's our chance to make some batik. The process begins with plain cloth, often cotton or silk, on which the design takes shape. The artist applies hot wax to specific areas of the fabric, creating a barrier that prevents dye from penetrating. Each stroke of the wax is a masterpiece in itself, carefully drawn by hand, following traditional patterns or the artist's unique vision, or my sloppiness. process, the fabric is usually immersed in vats of vibrant dye, soaking up color while the waxed areas remain untouched. This meticulous process of waxing and dyeing is repeated, layer upon layer, to achieve the desired complexity of the depth and design. Finally, the batik cloth is carefully heated to remove the wax, revealing the intricate patterns and brilliant colors that lie beneath. It's a moment of revelation where the artistry meets patience and tradition meets innovation.
Zurichardas Batik is celebrated for its rich cultural motifs and stunning color combinations. Each piece tells a story, a testament to the deep-rooted heritage of this craft. Visiting Suricarta offered us a chance to witness this mesmerizing art form, where tradition and creativity dance together, creating exquisite works that capture the essence of Indonesia's artistic soul.